Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Shauna Mahoney and today I'm going to share a haul with you guys yet again. I did it again. Um, so I had some gift cards and stuff like that from Christmas and it had been a while since I shopped and I kind of went a little bit nuts. So I've got some stuff from Sephora. I've got some stuff from Ulta. I've got some stuff from Mac as usual. And uh, I think I have just one more like one off thing to show you guys. So um, if you've been watching my videos for a while, my channel, you know that when I haul stuff, I usually give you a little bit of a mini review opinion about it. I'm not one of those people that can just like hold on and wait to use it till I've showed you guys first because I don't film that regularly. So my schedule, my filming schedule is not consistent. I'm really sorry. I try, I really do. But um, unfortunately I can't always get in front of you guys to film. So instead of letting all of the stuff that I bought sit and gather dust until I film another video, I usually just use it. So this video is gonna be probably a little bit long. So if you've got a minute or two to sit here and, and look at all the crap I bought, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'll start with the skin carry stuff first. I did get a couple of masks. The first one I picked up is this one here from Glam Glow. And this is the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. Now this mask is wild when you put it on. It is a very like pearly white kind of consistency. And then when it goes on your face, it turns into like this weird silver, really silver metallic finish. And it reminds me of Superman 3, the one with Christopher Reeve and Richard Pryor and that other guy. What's that actor's name? Not Vince Vaughn, Robert Vaughn, something Vaughn. You know which one I'm talking about? Uh, it's the one at the very end when the giant supercomputer ends up malfunctioning and it sucks that woman into the computer and turns her into this like scary robot. It used to give me nightmares. But that's what this mask reminds me of. It reminds me of that robot lady at the end of Superman 3. But as far as the product itself, it does seem to work. I have noticed that the Glam Glow masks, they actually really work. I do notice a difference when I use these masks. There's nothing worse than spending a ton of money on a product and you use it and you don't really notice much of a difference. I actually notice a difference with this one. I do feel a little bit tighter and firmer when I use this. This is a peel off mask and I love that. It's such a satisfying feeling to just peel off that whole mask in one big sheet. And um, yeah, I really like it. So have been loving this for sure. And another mask I picked up is from Doc Dr. Brandt and this is the Needles No More. 3D filler mask. So I have used this a couple of times and, and I'm kind of confused on how to use this if I'm honest. The directions say to just apply it and leave on. So it's not like a typical mask where you put it on for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then you rinse it off or peel it off or something like that. And it's not even really like an overnight mask that you put on top of your skincare and then leave it on overnight. This, this I, I'm not quite sure how to use this. I've gone online to Sephora's website to see the directions there there are directions that come in here and all it says really is to just put it in a triangle shape pattern on your face and leave on so i don't know if i don't know i don't know what the deal is but i've read the i read the reviews and there's women on there that said that they just they put it on under their makeup and one thing that does concern me about this is if you do use it it's not like you could use it on top of your skincare so so i don't know about your the rest of your skincare like your serums and moisturizers if you're using this mask kind of in place of that, there's a lot of other skincare benefits that you're not getting. So I, I'm not sure. I don't know how to use this. You guys I haven't quite figured it out. But if you have tried this and you know a good way to use it, then feel free to leave some suggestions. But what I will say about this is, is it works as kind of like a filler, um, like, like injectable filler. So you put it over like hollow spots, like they say to put it over your cheeks or something like that. And it's supposed to kind of plump it and fill it up and make it look really filled. So I have been using it. I have tried using it underneath my makeup during the day a couple of times and, and it's weird it almost acts like a primer it's very matte when it goes on i saw reviews on sephora's website that said that this was very drying and that sometimes people had to put a moisturizer on top and i can definitely see that because it's it's very matte looking and it's 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 kind of drying i mean it's not really a moisturizing kind of mask or product but i have tried putting this on underneath my makeup and it worked great i mean just as like a primer and it kind of like I put it under my eyes here just to kind of fill it out a little bit, the lines, and it did make it look more smooth. So I, I think this does what it says. I think it does act as kind of like a, a faux filler of some sort. So um, it is an expensive product. As far as skincare benefits, I haven't really been using it long enough to see if there's been a line, you know, a difference in my fine lines or anything like that. But I have been enjoying it like underneath my makeup during the day. And I have tried it several times at nighttime 
just in place of all my other skincare, I'll just put this on as like a, a mask and wear it overnight and wash it off in the morning. So, I mean, it's been working for that so far. So, I, I mean, so far so good. So, definitely like this product. Okay, and then I got this makeup setting spray here from Bosha. This is the Bosha White Char Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray. It looks like this here. And what I will say about this, it is mattifying and, and it does help to control the oil, but the instructions say that you can use it underneath your makeup and on top of your makeup. However, when you spray this on top of your makeup, if it's not like a real, if, you, if the squirter you get isn't like a great squirter, it can get kind of like spotty, like you'll see this spray of like little white dots all over your face from the white charcoal in this. And I had to like kind of buff it out and I'll insert a photo of the first time I ever, ever used this and you'll see when it dried, it just left these white spots all over my face. So my suggestion for this would be uh, to wear it underneath your foundation, spray it underneath your foundation. If you want to wear it on top of your makeup, spray it over your foundation before you've put like your blush and your eyeshadow and stuff like that on because I've sprayed this on before on top of eyeshadow and blush and it left little white spots all over everything and it was really hard. I had to like kind of buff it out with a brush which can kind of disturb your makeup underneath. So my suggestion would be to use this underneath your foundation and then if you're going to use it on top, to use it on top of your foundation before you put your other products on. But it does do a good job at controlling oil and stuff like that. So if you're oily skinned, I would definitely recommend this. Okay, and then I did get a couple of these brow products here from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Brow Definer Triangular Brow Pencil, and I got them in the shades Dark Brown and Taupe. And so far, I really like these. They're not as precise and as fine as like the regular Brow Wizzes, but in my opinion, the Brow Wizzes, they're really expensive for the amount of product that you get. If I use exclusively just one pencil, Every single day, I'll get through a whole pencil in like three weeks. I feel like I go through it really fast because there's not a lot of product in there. I feel like you get more product in here, uh, 0.2 grams. I don't know how much you get in the, the Brow Wiz. I'll, I'll leave it somewhere on here, but you get more product with these and you can cover more area with these than you can with the Brow Wiz. And you can get pretty fine hair like strokes with the little the little point the little tip of this so I do like this product a lot and the spoolie is an excellent spoolie Anastasia does by far she's got the best spoolies in the business so I love the spoolies I like the colors and I do overall really really like these do I like them better than the brow is I probably like them just as much but I can definitely see why some people would prefer the brow is but I personally like this one just as much because I am so sparse in the brow area that I need all the help that I can get, I need all the product I can get, and I do really like these. So yeah, great product. Oh, I forgot to, to mention this in my little skin bit, but I did get the Benefit, the Pore Professional Matte Rescue, and I use this as like a mattifying primer. Uh, the directions to use, apply a thin layer all over freshly cleansed face. So I think this is, this is meant to be kind of like a mattifying primer, and that's how I've been using it, and I do really like it. It is a really, um, like a very silky kind of gel formula. It's not silicone-y, slippy feeling like you feel, like you get in like the, the regular Professional or the Smashbox one. It's not silicone-y feeling, but it does kind of have like a really fresh fragrance and it's got like kind of a cooling sensation and it's definitely mattifying. I haven't tried this too much, just a couple of times, so I, I can't tell you how well it does at controlling oil and everything, but you know, We'll give it a little bit more time and see how we like this. But so far, it's not breaking me out or anything. I'm definitely not noticing that I'm any oily or anything like that. So I'll keep trying this and pay a little bit closer attention to how my skin looks by the end of the day when I use this product. But so far, so good. I like it. And the next product that I picked up also from Benefit is the Benefit Dandelion Shy Beam. And so far, I really, really like this product. This is like a pink tone, like it's got pink undertones and it's uh, matte highlighter and so far I really really like it. I really like matte highlighters especially during the day when I don't want a lot of shimmer on my face and this is just great. It's definitely very very brightening. It does what it says. It does the trick. Um, I really wish they came out with this in more of like a yellow tone though. I would absolutely love it but so far I really have been enjoying this highlighter a lot so definitely been digging it. Let's just stick with the highlight theme for now since we're here, but I did get three of the Hourglass Ambient Strobe Lighting Powders, and you guys, I cannot say enough good things about these highlighting powders. I absolutely love them. I got them in the shades Brilliant, Incandescent, 
and euphoric and I cannot say enough about these I didn't get the fourth one because I do already own the fourth one which was iridescent light it came in this hourglass edit palette here in the middle so I didn't get the full size of that because clearly I already have it but so far you guys this has got to be my favorite highlighter I absolutely love this product so much I'm gonna do a complete review in a minute as soon as I'm done filming this I'm gonna do a review just exclusively on this product but um, incandescent light is very similar to the iridescent light in the hourglass edit palette except this one's just got a little bit more white in it it's a little bit more white based this one's got a little bit more it's a little bit more pink but they're both pink they both have pink undertones so these are very very similar so i would say if you own one you probably don't need the other one um and then euphoric light is the warmest one out of all of them it's got kind of like a warm pinky peachy nude kind of undertone to it it's a beautiful and the last one that i picked up is the shade brilliant which is a really pale yellowy gold shade and I love it you guys I absolutely love these I love them because they're not metallic like it's not like you've got like liquid metal across your face they're definitely more natural and they look like skin still definitely more subtle so if you've got large pores if you've got some fine lines or if you just don't like that really highly metallic foiled look on your face then you would definitely love these but um, stay tuned for a full in-depth review on these products here. I'm gonna be doing swatches and all that stuff for you guys, but so far I cannot rave enough about these. I absolutely love them. These are probably my favorite highlighter of all time ever. Dig them big time. And thanks to Jaclyn Hill, I did manage to pick up the Giorgio Armani Cheek Fabric Sheer Blush in the shade Androgino, Androgino? Androgino, I'm not sure how to say it, shade 200, and this, you guys, I've been waiting to pick this up for so long, but it was out of stock forever, but it is so freaking beautiful, you guys. I think this is, like, this has got to be my most used blush, like, I've ever had. Like, I've used this, seriously, every single day since I picked it up, and it's just, it's spectacular, you guys. It kind of reminds me of a mix between Songbird from Becca uh, blush and the, what is it? This one here from Clinique, the Clinique Cheek Pop Blush Pop in the shade Cola Pop. It's kind of like a, a red based, like a burnt reddish orangey, I guess. It's like a burnt red shade, like a brick red, but it, you guys, it is so smooth and beautiful and pigmented. I absolutely love this blush and this was definitely a, a good buy and I would highly, 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 highly recommend it. It does last a long time. It blends out really nice. It doesn't go on splotchy or anything and it is just such a really natural color. It's so pretty. I absolutely love this one and just, I completely dig it. I completely dig it. You guys get it. It's phenomenal. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Oh, I did get a blush from Hourglass. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in the shade Incandescent Electra. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so pretty. I picked this up because Sharon Farrell, I love Sharon Farrell. She's one of my favorite makeup people to watch here on YouTube, but she always uses this and I just, I loved it. I love it. It is so, so, so gorgeous. It's like a really um, beautiful corally color with the, some of that incandescent um, strobing powder marble throughout the product but this is just a gorgeous gorgeous blush you guys have been wearing this a lot i've been wearing this a lot um with this armani one just on the apples because it's a little bit deeper this one's definitely a little bit lighter so um this one is is just it, you just don't get as bold a pigment as you do with this one so this one is just great for like every day and sometimes i'll put this one uh the armani one on just the apples but you guys that just it's so, so, so pretty. And the fact that it's got that iridescent, is it iridescent or incandescent? Incandescent. The incandescent powder and it like swirled in there. It's just, it blends out. It's so smooth and it just gives your cheek just this beautiful glow without looking like you added shimmer. Like it looks like just glowy, healthy skin. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's so beautiful. You guys, I absolutely love this color. And I also picked up a powder and this is the Sephora brand. What is this called? Eight Hour Wear Mattifying Compact Foundation. So I've never seen a video where anyone talked about this or anything. I just happened to kind of glance at this product on Sephora's website and I was looking at the, it got really high ratings and stuff and I was looking at the reviews and everybody said that this is like mattifying like no other. This is supposed to be like the most matte powder ever. And I think it's like a powder foundation. But if you just use like a fluffier brush, you can use it just for blotting and stuff like that. And you know, I'm always looking for something to keep me matte. So I went ahead and picked it up and I haven't used it too much. 
In fact, I've, I've only I've only used it once, if I'm honest. So I, I really need to give this more more of a try. But so far, it did seem to mattify. It was definitely very very matte. A little too matte for my liking, but I think if just used in certain spots, this would be great at controlling oil. So if I really, really love it, then you'll probably see it in like a favorites video or something like that. But so far, so good. I'm digging it. All right, guys, so that's it from Sephora. Let's go ahead and move over to Ulta. I did pick up several things. Uh, first things I picked up were some mascaras. I did pick up the uh, Maybelline, the Falsies mascara and black drama this is one of my all-time favorite drugstore mascaras i love it and i haven't used this in a while so i picked up another tube and then i picked up the physician's formula organic wear uh jumbo lash mascara this is the one that tati from glam life guru loves and i definitely really really like this mascara the only thing that i will say about this is this is one of those ones that you have to build you have to build it and build it it's not one of those whack on a ton of products you definitely have to have a little bit more time in the morning to put this on if you're gonna um, but when you do finally like kind of get it built up, it's just beautiful. It's not clumpy. They're really full and thick and fluttery looking. And I really do enjoy this mascara a lot. So when I've got a little bit of time to get ready, then I'll use this product and I do really, really like it. Also from Physicians Formula, I picked up this little palette here. This is the Warm Nudes. And I'm not sure exactly what this is supposed to, it just says shimmer strips, all in one custom nude palette for face and eyes. So this so far, I, I really, really like this, you guys. It's a, it's like a shimmer brick, kind of. Um, you've got these really pale ones up here in the corner, and then they get a little bit bronzier down in the, the bottom corner. And then just this one row here, they're, they're more like pinky tones. And you can use this on your eyes, you can use this on your face as a highlighter. And so far, I've really been enjoying this. I've been using this during the day on my eyes, and it's just a really nice, soft, shimmery, light color brightening shadow on your eyes and it's a great highlighter this is a great drugstore highlighter and these browner more like bronzier tones are beautiful beautiful eyeshadows um, if you've got dry skin you might be able to get away with using those as bronzers if you're if you're more fair i'm very oily so I, I can't even think about using something like this on the rest of my face my oily ass face so but i do use this a lot on my eyes and i do use some of the lighter colors just to highlight um the tops of my cheeks and stuff like that cupid's bow tip of the nose and stuff like that and i really have been enjoying this so i can't say enough good things about it i love it a couple of lip products i did pick up uh, a lip liner from nyx this is my favorite nyx lip liner i've decided i've decided this one is my favorite and this is in the shade ever yes the shade 828 ever or toujours i absolutely love this this is a very neutral rose color and it's so 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 flattering i think on just about all skin tones and i absolutely love 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 this color this has been like an everyday color for me my old one is like down to the last freaking nub so i had to get a replacement one of these i absolutely love it and then from tarte i did pick up one of the tarte lip surgeons lip creams in the shade empowered and this is such a beautiful like dusty mauvey color it's such a beautiful everyday color and it's kind of sheer very very moisturizing very very hydrating i also love it with the uh, toujours ever lip liner from nyx and this is just such a beautiful color i love it and then i got a couple things from bare minerals i got i'm running low on my urban decay naked skin concealer and i've noticed that they haven't had my shade in stock in a long time and the lady the sales lady at ulta said that there's something there's some issue going on with urban decay and that it doesn't matter where you go they're going to be out of stock for a while so i don't know what the issue is but she did recommend the bare minerals bare skin concealer she said this is the closest thing she's found to the consistency of the naked skin concealer and i would have to agree it is pretty similar i think i like the naked skin one just a little bit better but until that one comes back in stock this one is perfectly fine by me it's it's working quite well it's like a serum concealer and i've really been enjoying it so yeah love this concealer been digging it and also from Bare Minerals, I got one of these Stroke of Light Eye Brightener Illuminators. It's just a highlighter, and it's kind of more of the yellow-toned one, and this is in the shade Luminous 2. And again, this is more of like a matte highlight and kind of counter to the Shy Beam, which is more pink tone. This one's got a little bit more of a, a yellowy undertone to it, so 
Um, I thought that I would give this a try and so far I'm really enjoying it. It's not super thick. It doesn't get super cakey. So this is something I think if you've got more mature skin, you, you can get away with using this. I've noticed that even the YSL Touche Gloss, sometimes it can really highlight some of my lines and make it look a little cracked. This one's a little bit more hydrating and it doesn't seem to accentuate the lines quite as much as some of the other ones, but I have been enjoying this one and I do like it quite a bit. And the last thing that I picked up from Ulta is this big old product here. And this is the Go Smile Sonic Blue Teeth Whitening System. So this is an electronic toothbrush and it, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see the light turn on? Yes, you can see it when it's, there we go. So it, it shines this bright blue color and you add some of the teeth whitening gel to your toothbrush with the toothpaste. So you put half toothpaste and then half this white whitening treatment and then you brush your teeth it buzzes every time you finish a section so you know to move on the next section and you brush your teeth for two minutes and it's supposed to whiten your teeth and so far I've only tried this for a few days so I don't think I've changed too much but it also comes with this little guide so you can tell where you started and where you finished so you can monitor your progress and one thing I will say about this is my teeth are extremely extremely sensitive every single time i try the white strips or any whitening product it makes my teeth super 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 ultra sensitive and it doesn't matter how how much people insist like no no, no this one doesn't cause sensitivity it always does on me but this hasn't so this has not made my teeth very sensitive you guys so if you have sensitive teeth definitely give this one a try this one is kind of expensive i want to say this was about a hundred and how much was this There's no price tag on here. I forget how much it was. It was pretty expensive, um, but it is an investment piece. But so far, I've really been liking it. I have noticed a little bit of a difference in my teeth. Um, it hasn't been too long so far. I think I might have like whitened like a shade or something like that. But I'm just thrilled that I can use a whitening product that doesn't make my teeth ultra sensitive. So, so far, I've really been digging this loads. Okay, guys, we're almost done. Let's go through some of the things that I picked up from MAC. I did restock on some lip liners because I'm almost done with my Soar and my Whirl. They're worn down to the nubs, so I thought that I would replace those, so I got another Soar, I got another Whirl, and then I got a couple of new ones that I've never tried. I got the shade Half Red. Guys, I love this lip liner. I don't know where I've been all this time and why I haven't tried this, but I absolutely love it. I think I've avoided it because I saw a video where Makeup by Tiffany D said that, uh, is this Whirl? Yeah, I think she said, she, she did a video one time where she said that Half Red was so similar to Whirl that it wasn't worth picking up. I disagree. I think Half Red is different enough to merit a, an additional purchase. And if I had to pick between the two, I prefer Half Red over Whirl. Whirl's got just a little bit more brown in it. Um, Half Red's got a little bit more warmth and color to it really. So, um, but I absolutely love both of them, but love, love, love Half Red, totally. And then I did pick up, where's the last one? I'm getting mixed up. And then the last one I picked up is in the shade Edge to Edge. This one's just a, a really pale pink. I don't really have anything like this, so I got it just for the sake of adding something to my collection that I didn't have already, but I'm not completely the biggest fan of this color on me, but um, I'll try it out a few more times with some different lipsticks and stuff and see if I can get it to look right on me, but so far, not my favorite color on my skin tone, but it was worth trying anyway. The next few items, on the other hand, I love. So um, let's just finish up the lip stuff first. So I did get these, all of these products, the remaining products are from the Ellie Goulding collection, and I, hopefully the Ellie Goulding, Ellie Goulding collection is still available, so I will link to everything down below, but I, get, I got the two lipsticks. So I got them in the shades Without Your Love and the shade Only You, and so far, I've really been preferring Without Your Love. Actually, I, dude, I love them both. But this one here is the shade Only You, which is just a beautiful warm pink. And these are both cream sheen formulas, so they're very creamy, very moisturizing. And this is the shade Without Your Love, which is very similar, except it's just lighter in skin tone. So it's more of like a like a warm pink, a little bit of a peachiness to it. So I love these. You guys are beautiful warm pinks. I love warm pinks. Warm pinks look the best on my skin tone, in my opinion. So love those. In fact, you guys, I I love these so much that I went and got backups. So I have backups of both of these. Um, and then the last lip product that I got, also from the Ellie Goulding Collection, is this gloss here in the shade Explosion. And I love this gloss, you guys. I love it so much that I also went and got... A backup of this one too and this is just it's just a gold 
like kind of like a warm gold with like a little bit of rosy like I guess it's got a tint of rose gold in there I think of it as more of like a yellowy it's just gold you guys it's like a nude gold but there's so 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 much shimmer in here and it kind of reminds me of Celeste from Buxom which is one of my all-time favorite lip glosses of all time ever it's got like the shimmer level is is that one except this one doesn't have as much much pinky rosiness in it this one's a little bit more like nudie gold so but I absolutely love this this one is a backup one the other one I have is in my purse and I use it all the time I just let's just put on a little bit here using the viewfinders and mirror is this coming off on camera how like the glossiness of it the shimmer oh I just love it you guys and this on top of of these is just I can't even you guys it's beautiful it's gorgeous and then the last thing that I picked up also from the Ellie Goulding collection is this eyeshadow palette. This is the Halcyon, Halcyon Nights Full Face Kit. And this is beautiful, you guys. It's just this little palette here. And it comes with four eyeshadows. And I was really, really, really drawn to these three in particular. This one especially. And I was like, oh, as soon as I saw that color, I'm like, I'm taking it. And so I bought it. And then when I got it home, I realized that this is the shade saddle which i already have and love so that makes sense why i was totally drawn to it because that's i love that color but this is saddle what other colors do you get in here does it say yes so this one here is the shade starry eyed this one down here is yuma everything this one up here on the top is saddle and then the bottom here is the shade hanging on which is a beautiful beautiful like taupey brown color it's beautiful you guys this is a gorgeous gorgeous palette and I'm really glad I got it even though I already have um even though I already have that color saddle I love it and this one here starry eyed is just it's so beautiful you guys it's so shimmery it's just a beautiful beautiful color and then when you slide it over here like this there's this like really warm cream highlight here which is just beautiful it's it's so pretty you guys cream highlighter here it's very similar to the cream color base in hush I believe kind of similar to that it's definitely more of like a a warm peachy nudie color so it's beautiful this would be gorgeous on like deeper skin tones oh my gosh um lighter skin tones you might be a little too fair if you're very very fair this might be a little bit too deep for you guys but but women of color oh my gosh this would be so 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 pretty on you um medium skin tones light to medium tan deep i think this would be beautiful on so it's so so pretty really happy with this palette i dig it one last thing this is a one-off thing i just got it online somewhere but i did pick up a tub of the by terry hyaluronic hydra powder i saw emily noel talk about this powder and she said that this was her favorite thing to set her under eyes with and i would have to agree this is definitely a gorgeous powder for setting the under eye area it's got the hyaluronic acid in there so it's definitely a little bit more hydrating so it won't dry your under eye out area as much as other powders do and this has to be by far the finest 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 powder that I've ever used it is so fine you guys that I even have a hard time picking it up in, in a brush if I dip my brush in it it just kind of falls out of the brush so I can't get that much product to, to like grab in the brush and it, it doesn't matter what brush I've tried synthetic brushes and um, natural hair brushes denser brushes looser brushes and the product just kind of falls out of the brush so it is it is very very fine and as soon as you open it up, it just you could just see it, just this puff of smoke coming out of it or what appears to be smoke because it is just so unbelievably fine, you guys. And it's a very smoothing, it's very, very smoothing powder for under the eye area. One thing that I will say is this, this does not photograph well. I wore this out the other night and we were taking some pictures and you could just see these, these white circles like the reverse raccoon eye. So keep in mind that this I don't think is the greatest thing for photographs. Um, what concealer was I wearing? I was wearing my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, and I've never had that problem with that concealer when I use other powders, so I'm pretty confident that it was this powder that was doing the flashback, so just keep that in mind, but this one, you guys, is a phenomenal, phenomenal powder. If you've got dry skin, this might be a good powder for you all over the face. I don't use this all over my face. I just pretty much just use this under my under eye area because that's where I'm my most dry and wrinkly. So yeah, this is just a beautiful, just really, really silky, silky, finely milled, hydrating, under eye powder and I've totally been digging this powder loads love it and that's it guys I think that it that everything I think that's everything so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video saw a couple things you might want to try if you tried any of these products please let me know what you think about them because I'm really curious to see what other people think about these products um and yeah that's it so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye